We got Bray Wyatt versus Roman Reigns versus Braun Strowman. Yeah, with Roman Reigns managed by Paul Heyman. So, you know, I mean, Roman Reigns is, is like, I guess, just turning heel. Um, and he's going with Paul Heyman. This is amazing. You know, I was thinking about this After today. After all these years. Well, I mean, I you know, look, it should have been done five years ago, but... Now, you know, now they're going to do it. But the thing is, it's like, it's so amazing to me when you think about this, that that Daniel Bryan had the career-ending injury. He was never going to wrestle again, and then he got cleared, okay? You know, you can think whatever you want to think. I'm sure some of it's true, and who knows, you know, who, know, who knows, right? But he gets cleared. Big moment, big return. And within how long... He goes heel, okay, and then he goes back babyface, but whatever. But he, had, he, he, this guy who should have been like, when he came back, he should have been like top babyface, and you know, top, you know, really top babyface, build the company around, and within a couple months he goes heel. So then you got Roman Reigns, cancer survivor, comes back, and granted, it's he's been back for a while. He, now he goes heel. Like before, he, before that, he hasn't happened. been back for a while. He was back on Sunday. No, no. I mean, he came back from the cancer though earlier this well, year. Well, he came back from the cancer, but he's been gone for since WrestleMania. Right, right. No, he's been gone for four months. But no, this comeback is not. It's not the same thing as the comeback from the cancer, even though it's 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 not been that long. I mean, it was this year. No, but it's still like this guy came back. And guaranteed, you should be able to do something with him as a babyface after coming back since being gone since WrestleMania. Just like Ciampa coming back, and he's a tr he's a heel now, and like well, everybody who comes back is a heel. Yeah, well, Ciampa, I figured that they that in their minds that uh, Ciampa got squashed by Karrion Cross, so they need to switch him. Um, well, let me ask you the question then: Who are the top babyfaces in NXT? Like the main event level baby faces. Um, God, Keith Lee just left. So I guess Finn Balor's back as a baby face, even though... He is? Yeah, yeah, yeah. At he best, was... he's a tweener. He was the baby face against Thatcher. So we got uh, Finn Balor. Finn Balor. Um, let me see who else. Um, Damian Priest. Well, he's a definitely... secondary champion. Okay, he's a baby face. Uh, Bronson Reed's a baby face. Uh, Dave, who's your main event baby face in NXT? I don't even know. Who you're, well, your main event guys are the four guys in the match. Johnny Gargano, who's a heel. They're all heels. Yeah, Adam Cole, who's... who's Well, Adam Cole is sort of a baby face right now, um, although the other guys seem to be heels. I don't think they really know. They're all tweeners anyway. Um, I mean, Gargano's definitely a heel. Ciampa just turned heel. Um... Adam Cole is a baby is is a baby face coming off of the McAfee thing, and then Balor's a baby face. So you got two baby faces and two heels. Those two are barely baby faces. Well, Balor's not. No, Balor's not. And Cole, you know, Cole was definitely the baby face against McAfee. He was a baby face in the feud, but they were heels on TV the last week. But he wasn't out there with them when when they came out. When it was Roderick Strong and um, O'Reilly and Fish, they did not send Adam Cole out. Hmm. Well, he needs to turn ASAP. Well, he'll be the baby. He'll, well, I don't know what they'll do in the match. Who knows on Tuesday? But I know it'll be a great match. We got but Keith Lee. They're not. They're not. They're not. Um, they're not like the baby face heel thing is not a big deal to them. Obviously, it's, it's it can switch at any moment at any time. I mean, look at Bailey and Sasha Banks against us against uh, Nia Jax and Shayna Baszler. You know, in theory, they're all four heels. Yes. And and so far, when I watch the companies that don't have baby faces and heels, I mean, for the most part, it doesn't work out very well. Mm, WWE's been doing this for a long, long time, and it I mean, hasn't you know, worked out very well. Sometimes it does, and sometimes it doesn't. It's not as it's. It, I've seen baby face, baby face matches that do well, you know, which in the past wouldn't have. Um, heel heel stuff is done. Um, heel heel stuff. A lot of the times when they do it, it's weird because, like, they did Sheamus and um, Baron Corbin, King Corbin. That didn't work. Well, they only 
did like one match and then then all of a sudden Sheamus is back as a you know Sheamus was the baby face in that thing and then he's back as a heel the next week it's weird it is confusing in a lot of ways I, I think that that's um but yeah you don't know who the baby faces and heels are anymore half the time you know other than Rey Mysterio or somebody like that who's like a career baby face but um I mean Roman Reigns should win the championship um I don't see you know turning him heel I mean you could have you could have you know Wyatt beat Braun and then have Roman chase um, Wyatt. I mean, you could do that. But to me, it's like if Roman goes heel and he goes with Paul Heyman all at the same time, um, he certainly can't lose the first match. That would be whatever. So I guess the deal with um, putting them together, other than, you know, obviously they feel the need for, for that, for Roman's turn to be complete. And also the other end of it is, is that... Um, you know, Heyman has got such a big contract, and it's kind of like, I think that they want to justify the fact that he's got such a big contract, and, you know, he's not doing anything. You know, he was just, I mean, I'm not saying he's not doing anything. I'm sure he's doing something, but he's not doing anything. You know, his, his performer's contract, he wasn't doing anything at all ever since Lesnar left, and that's been months now. So, and he's making a lot of money, so I think that you want to justify that by having him work and, you know, being with Reigns. It's, you know, it's like he's being paid like a top guy, so he should be in a top program and doesn't get any, it's not going to get any bigger than Reigns. I mean, Reigns is going to be the biggest guy as a heel. He's going to be the biggest heel in the promotion. Um, what's interesting is, um, you know, with, with AJ and all that is does, does Reigns go to Raw? In the draft, or does AJ go to Raw in the draft, or does neither of them go to Raw in the draft? But with Reigns as a heel, AJ's not the top heel there anymore, so he could be, he can go over. Um, but McIntyre's going to need new opponents unless Orton wins. Um, but then Orton's going to need new opponents too, because it's not like there's a whole plethora of baby faces on that side either. Uh, so, there, there, you know, there's a lot of shakeups that are needed um, that'll, I guess, come in October.